guys. We are back with the screen team being joined again by the very lovely and talented Sabrina. Sabrina is going to up her game a little bit and do uh, hopefully a much better review on the movie <laughs> 28 Days Later. Oh, man. I'm, I'm getting a, really sick of being thrown under the bus here. <laughs> I'm getting a bruise. I'm going to show that to my mom, dude. Um, <laughs> so anyway... Uh, 28 Days Later, this film uh, came out in the early uh, 2000s, and it kind of, I don't want to say revitalized, but it definitely brought back the kind of zombie genre a little bit, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> did it again. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of 28 Days Later? Okay, I like this movie, and I like this um, style of zombie. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, when you say style of zombie, aren't all zombies the same? No. There's the slow, decrepit... Like a Night of the Living Dead? Night of the Living Dead, mm-hmm. yeah. And then there's these speedy little demons that are just... Uh, so the the zombies that have risen from the grave or risen from the dead, mm-hmm. those guys can only be killed by having been shot through the head. Okay. Right? These guys, you can pretty much shoot them any way you want, as long as they're, they die. So right. apparently, if they're not really zombies in this movie. Mm-hmm. They're like a viral, flesh-eating person that hasn't really died yet. They've mm-hmm. just been transformed by a virus. And we kind of, from the very beginning of the movie, we see how this virus starts. Yeah, which is just bizarre. What was bizarre about it? They had apes in a mm-hmm. testing station right. that were being subjected to uh, nonstop resources and images of violence committed by humans. You could say that it's it's torture a little bit. Yeah, they were torturing the animals visibly, uh, and they were um, infected with a man-made virus i believe it is i think it's man-made they called rage right so these uh these goody two-shoe tree huggers come in (laughs) wow (laughs) what else would i do what what else would i say about them yeah go on (laughs) dig that hole a little deeper (laughs) they go in and they're gonna decide to um save the uh monkeys and apes and uh release them from uh their captivity yeah and uh, they get stopped by one of the scientists, and the scientist is like, hey, listen, this is not a good idea. You let them go. We are all in big trouble. They don't listen. They let the apes go. The apes attack right away, and the virus Yeah, they the starts. apes attack the would-be uh, people who are trying to um, release them mm-hmm. uh, immediately. Within seconds, those people are turned into these flesh-eating creatures, um, and they just start working their way through the population really fast. Yep. Now this takes place in um England mm-hmm. in 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 the proper uh sense of the word. They're on the island, you know, of this area. What you see is a guy waking up from a coma next and and he's in England. You see all the the iconic buildings, locations and it is devoid of any person whatsoever. Wasn't that, wasn't that cool? Weren't those scenes cool? Yeah, I mean, seriously, like, how much money did they have to pay to clear everybody out and they, show they, nothing? They had to shoot those scenes at like 4 o'clock in the morning. It was crazy. They had, they had to stop whatever traffic was out at that particular time and shoot those scenes as quick as they could. I think That's they were amazing. I think they were only lot, allotted about an hour to do that. Like they had to get it and be gone. But it was amazing. I mean, you just like the certain camera angles they had. It made I mean, they it looked big, it looked epic, it looked grandiose, yeah. and it looked empty. Yeah, it was empty. 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 Like, like this guy gets his clothes on and he's walking around and He's trying to figure out what is going on. He can't find anything to eat except like a soda. Mm-hmm. Um, he, everything looks destroyed in a sense that there's just stuff scattered everywhere. Mm-hmm. There's stuff left sitting. Um, it just... <laughs> my phone. <laughs> so you just can't figure out what really is going on other than the fact that, you know, those people got crazy. And so you think, wow, they really need to, um, like, turn... You need to, he needs to like figure out a way to find someone and he's still trying to figure out what's going on. So it takes him a while to realize. And then all of a sudden he's being chased by these creatures mm-hmm. and he's thinking, Hey, Hey, help me out here. He goes into a church, right? Mm-hmm. Thinking there's Haven. Right. And all of a sudden he's just like, hello. And four or five of these heads just pop up and they start running. And that's the first time you see the creatures. Right. 
And I mean, they're fast. And you don't have time to think. He just has to start running. And then he finds these people who start throwing like gas bombs or something like that uh, at them and distracting them. And they blow up a gas station and they take refuge in this building. And then they tell him, hey, what's wrong with you? Why would you do? Why would you just be walking around out in the day? Where have you been? And he's like asleep. (laughs) He's been out for 28 days. Did that scene remind you of anything? Oh, God, you're just going to have to tell me. I don't know what you're leading me into. It reminded me of the uh, opening scene in The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, because the guy wakes up. Right. right and sure. he, was in a, he was in a hospital. He yeah. wakes up and everything's empty and uh, abandoned and whatnot. And yep, that's right. They did. copied it. They did. Totally. Who, who copied it? Walking Dead. Thank you. <laughs> Show some respect, man. Um, so what did you think about this movie? Is this a movie that you're like, yeah, I want to see this again and again and again? It doesn't have a lot of um, characters, you know, that's really mm-hmm. limited, um, especially through the first half of the movie. Mm-hmm. It takes me a while to figure out who I'm rooting for. I mean, you know you're rooting for the living, right? But you're trying to figure out which one of these characters is going to carry me through the movie with some kind of satisfaction at the end, right? right, right. You just really don't know. The, I mean, the guy that wakes up in a coma, you just want to, like, go sit over there and just wait to be eaten <laughs> because you're totally a drag. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got, you know, this girl who is just like Xena, you know, I'm going to yeah, take everybody awesome. out. I don't care if you're slowing me down, you're done. See ya. And you see these characters just start to transform and affect each other. Mm-hmm. And you're like, how did you go 28 days without being affected? You know, I don't know. I have a lot of questions. But then they get on the road. They're walking and talking and making their way. And they find Christmas lights and they find another uh, father and daughter And so then they decide, hey, there's a radio transmission. Let's follow it. So they go to an army base where they believe there is sanctuary. And they find other monsters there. Yeah, men uh, who are looking to repopulate the world by taking uh, the girl and the daughter uh, and repopulating with them. So, you know, it's kind of a harsh concept and and it can be a harsh scene. Um, I will tell you what you think hap- is going to happen. You, I'm going to just tell you. You don't actually see. So, because that stuff really bothers me. I hate of being course. surprised by that kind of stuff. I think it bothers a lot of um, people. Yeah. I know um, I'm not special. So, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm curious. One of the things I liked about this film is the way that it looked. Uh, visually, with the cameras, um, it looked like you were in... It, no, it didn't look clean. It didn't look... Um, it looked war- the, like the film, the film itself, whatever they were shooting on, whatever camera they were shooting on. It was on, filtered. It, it, okay. <laughs> I understand it was filtered. I understand that. But it looked cool, man. <laughs> it looked cool. It looked like you were in what would be a zombie world. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. <laughs> Sabrina, <laughs> anything you want to add before we leave? Uh, I think it's a fun movie, and I was actually excited when they brought out 28 Days Later. You mean 28 Weeks Later? Oh, yeah, 28 Weeks Later. Sorry. 28 Weeks Later. So um, now, I, because we reviewed this movie, I want to revisit that one. Okay. We'll definitely do that at a future date for sure. Hopefully, we'll have our P's and Q's a little bit better prepared. We're never going to be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> She's Sabrina. I'm Chris. We are part of the screen team. And remember, we want you to know before, before you go.